Loveway Primitive here. We're out in the woods today. I'm here with my friend Steele from Enigmatic Electronics. Lean in here and say hello, buddy. He's looking the part more than me. <laughs> I was in a conversation the other day online about road flares. This fellow had found a road flare in his old Jeep and was going to try to start a fire with it, and he was asking questions about how much it would smoke and stuff. Now, I had bought two of these at Walmart like five years ago. And I've kept them both in different packs and plastic bags so they didn't dry. And I've never shot one off. Now, my buddy, he says that it'll blind you if you stare right at it. So I'm going to light this thing up and we're going to try to get this wet wood going. It's been raining for two weeks up in northeast Georgia. We've had torrential flooding, been on the news. I got creeks going through my property I didn't even know existed. So everything's soaked. We're going to try it, though. I've never done this. Just to take that off. Oh, okay. So what you got here is there's instructions on the side, but y'all know I don't read. This cap comes off, and there's a sandpaper kind of thing there. And that goes off, and I guess you strike it. There we go. There we go. Ooh, it is bright. I'm gonna stick that down in here and see if we can't get a fire going. And we got a pit dug down in there. And in a little while, we're going to do a pit chicken. Well, it's actually a little game hen, but that's what we're going to eat today. So we're just going to see how this goes. All right, I've learned a valuable lesson about road flares. It did get some of the small tender in the middle ignited, but it took us coaxing it a little bit. We had to get in here and breathe on it. And add smaller stuff so just because you got a road flare don't think it's going to start right up in wet weather um, some of the things i would have done if i was coaxing an ember into life with a bow drill i should have done here i should have gathered pine needles i should have gathered small under limbs from pines that were really super dry and made a good nest for it instead i just piled in moderately dry sticks that i'd found hung up and some quite wet actually and all this big stuff was really wet thinking that that road flare would do all the work for me. So lesson learned. It worked. We got it going, but uh, it was not the immediate blazing inferno that we hoped it would be. So, you know, word to you, if you're going to use a road flare, you've still got to do some good prep work. Don't take anything for granted. All right, finally we've got success. How long do you think that took, Steele? 20, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, I'd say, with a road flare. It's wet, but I uh, was a little bit surprised it took that long. So just, uh, just know, just a road flare does not mean instantaneous gratification. But we're well on the way to making a bed of coals, and we're going to get this game hen out, wrap it in aluminum foil, and put it in these coals when we, when we get it down where we want it. It's still going to take a little while to get there. What we really should do is wait for the coals to get everything to get burned down and then dig out the coals a little bit and drop this bad boy in and cover it all up even with dirt and then go hang out for two hours and come back but we're gonna cheat and see if we don't ruin a game here. Got a little hole in the stuff here we're just gonna slip this bad boy down in there and hope for the best. We're gonna let this stuff burn on down over the top of it and we're gonna check on it in a little while so it's unorthodox, but perhaps it will work. And if we get salmonella and you don't see me again, it was nice knowing you. Alright, we're about to dig our chicken out. We didn't bury it with the soil. We're, we ended up just throwing it in the coals because we lost patience. We're hoping for the best here. That's what we're looking at. Push the ash off. Well, you know a little ash will kill you. It's been proven. Let me get my knife. There you go. Ah, oh, we burned it. I believe we got charcoal chicken. Oh, we got some good <laughs> It burned a little through, and you can see the result. I believe it's overdone. 
Well, we'll get a little off the back here. Right. We'll shake that pan out. Maybe I'll get your pan. Yeah. At least that part pretty. We'll get some pickings off of it. side here. It's steaming pretty. Alright, here's how we're divvying it up. Hey, a little charcoal ain't gonna hurt me. Put me half of that in there. Alright, there's dinner. It's still pretty good. We're gonna eat it. Oh! Wishbone! Wishbone! Pick a wish. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I wish for uh, a million dollars. Oh, well, okay. I wish for something else. I wish for, okay. I won, I won, I won.